Let's change things over now to Rob and our weather. Rob, it looked like a nice clear day for those runners running out for a great cause. At least it wasn't yesterday, right? Thank uh, goodness didn't they didn't. The it was much safer today. Yes, of course. And, uh, you know, the temperatures were pretty seasonable or at least uh, close to, to seasonable levels with uh, temperatures mainly in the low to mid 30s about five to 10 degrees below where we should be, but beautiful views across the area this afternoon and this evening. Now from Glens Falls from the Queensbury Hotel, some sunshine trying to poke through those clouds up there this evening. Still light out and it's after six o'clock. Here's the view of the radar. We do have just a couple of light snow showers and flurries off to our west. Some of those may hold together for just a couple of flurries early this evening. Otherwise, they're going to fall apart really inconsequential as we go forward in time. Temperatures were at the highest point of the day. 34 in Voorheesville to Schenectady, Clifton Park, Glenmont 36. Colder though at Dwaynesburg 28, 26 in Cobleskill. 29 at Williamstown, Peru 25, Hoosick Falls to Pittsfield. Checking in with 29 degrees. Up to the north a little colder. Wanakina 26, same thing in Broad Alban. 33 Lake Luzerne, Greenwich at 31 in Dover, Vermont at 21 degrees. So we did see the increase in clouds. Now we wait to see if we'll see a couple of flurries from this. But as you can see, pretty much falling apart. The heavier the snow stayed well to our south down in New Jersey. But as we go through the day tomorrow with the passage of this little system that's moving through, we're going to see a milder flow of air. We'll see partly sunny skies and winds shifting to the west southwest during the course of the afternoon, and that's going to allow our temperatures to warm up into the upper 40s and close to 50 degrees. So most of the snow that's left over now will likely be gone after tomorrow. We do have to watch this frontal boundary right here. Notice this little strip of some rain and some snow developing through the Dakotas. We're going to have to watch that it does look to sink southward on Tuesday, but where it sets up is going to be the big question. North of the boundary, it will be much, much cooler. South of the boundary, it will be feeling like spring. Here it is on the future cast. You've got the clouds moving through the first half of the overnight tonight will become partly clear out there heading into your Monday morning. I do expect some sunshine, at least breaks of sun through Monday afternoon. Really not a bad day with the warm front to the north. That means we're on the warmer side of things, at least for tomorrow. Now, tomorrow night into Tuesday morning, that boundary stays to our north. However, during the course of Tuesday afternoon, this boundary will be slowly sinking southward. And right now, it looks to set up right around Albany. So those of you north of Albany, mostly cloudy, maybe a rain or snow shower, as you can see here, south of Albany, partly sunny temperatures in the 50s. So for your Monday, temperatures will be warming back up into the upper 40s to low 50s for just about everybody. A little cooler in the Adirondacks. Tuesday, that's the tricky one. 46 in Albany, 30s to near 40 up to the north, low to potentially mid 50s just south of Albany. So there will be a pretty sharp temperature gradient come Tuesday afternoon. 24 for tonight, evening snow shower west and then becoming cloudy and then becoming partly clear by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, 48 morning sunshine with increasing clouds through the afternoon, a little bit of a west wind, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Rain or snow shower on Tuesday, mostly cloudy, 46. Nice day on Wednesday, 52. Maybe a uh, rain shower south on Thursday, 61. Mid 60s on Friday, mid 50s Saturday with rain showers and perhaps a leftover shower on Sunday for the first day of spring with temperatures in the upper 40s. Michaela?